and the first card is the ending card so there's an ending of a situation over there something is coming to a close in your life and you've got the judgment card you are being asked to follow a new direction so uh, you are at the crossroads in your life and something brand new coming in for you over there and you're going to be following something different um, you know probably on your career path or even in your life path but something certainly um, different from what you've been doing for the last few years now you've got the strength card over here so you need to think big um, you need to act boldly and you need to do things with a lot more confidence you will be able to overcome any problems with that strength card now in the past you've got good fortune and fame over here so you've gotten recognition for whatever you've been doing it seems like you've been in the spotlight you know you may have graduated uh, from whatever it is you were doing uh, but your luck has changed so something has been going uh, you know in a good direction it looks like something has come to a close as well and you're now moving on going to be moving on in a new path and it's certainly a path of money because the wealth card is there um, and uh, you know uh, it looks like uh, whatever it is uh, that you decide to do is going to bring you um, a lot of money bring in uh, fame and money and you've got the anxiety card following it so you are pretty stressed out about what's going on you are still communicating with a lot of people you can see she's on the on the phone over there so talking to a lot of people but you're very stressed out about what is going on so you you know whatever new thing you're doing uh you know you might be uh, making a lot of contacts with a lot of people uh, but you're under a lot of pressure uh, it seems and there's a lot of anxiety uh, you need to just relax a little bit uh because things are going to be going your way so you know don't don't take things too seriously lighten up a little bit um and you know enjoy whatever is coming to you don't be anxious about it uh let it come to you so you know they say let go and let god and that's what you need to do at this particular time so don't be too stressed about things part of the deck you've got the king of swords the star card over there the five of wands the sun the hangman so maybe you're at the moment you're going uh through a period where everything seems to be be a bit stuck you might be feeling as though your hands and feet are tied um you might be feeling as though things are not moving fast enough for you and maybe this is the thing that's causing anxiety and stress but um you've got the judgment card coming in again here so the judgment card in the energy read as well as this you are being asked to to follow a new direction make a new change burn your bridges really you can see they're burning this uh, effigy of, of this big statue over there um you are being asked or being called to make a big change a big move in a new direction and letting go of the past so basically burning your bridges from the past and moving on and this is the thing that's going to bring in the fame this new thing that you're going to be doing is going to you know have a lot of people recognizing um how good you are at whatever it is you're going to be doing maybe you didn't realize that you had the skill or talent uh, and this is where you're going to be shining so there is a need for you to move on so don't be scared about making change you've got the sun over here so whatever you do whatever this change is, is going to bring in a lot of success and a lot of fame it looks like it's on the work front the, the sun usually signifies work it will be a lot of hard work but there will be a lot of recognition and there's going to be a lot of intellectual work coming in as well because you've got that big feather in the cap there but a lot of people recognizing you for whatever it is you're doing and there's a lot of success that comes in with this new pathway that you're going to be following you still will be dealing with a lot of people that are going to be uh, you know uh, uh giving you a little bit of grief there you've got these uh, squirrels attacking this man over here and him having to sort things out there's a lot of responsibilities that you're going to have to deal with and a lot of difficult people there might be a lot of deadlines that you'll have to do um you know um, a lot of deadlines to meet over there a lot of pressure coming in from that work over there uh but right through being guided and whatever it is you're doing it seems to be very scientifically orientated as well this is isaac newton with the um uh, prisms and light so something groundbreaking something new something possibly in the science world as well and um, but you are being guided you are getting divine guidance uh and, and as to which pathway to follow you've got the king of swords over here so this is a decision being made it's you coming to decision or a, a legal decision being made or even you signing new contracts as well but certainly some kind of uh you know um clarity coming in and a, a definite decision being made of here so this could be well signing new contracts and starting afresh in a new job somewhere else so something is coming in on that legal front over there a decision will be made 
Now, you've got the Page of Swords and the Queen of Wands here. So the Page of Swords is about, you know, uh, news coming in for you there. Uh, and this could be, uh, you know, you needing to um, sign contracts. Make sure you're reading the fine print pretty carefully there. With that Queen of Wands, it's about being in that spotlight, being in a position of authority, taking control of the situation. Um, you can see she's on a stage here. So, you know, you're going to be um, catering to the needs of a lot of people and you're going to be in the limelight, in the spotlight for some reason. Um, so this is new contracts being signed. Certainly with that King of Swords, it seems like something legal being uh, sorted out there. Uh, but also whatever new job you're going to be doing, you're going to be, um, you know, uh, somebody that people uh, look up to for um, leadership, uh, but also being in the spotlight. So it's almost as though you're this this new job could be involving a lot of travel and dealing with a lot of people overseas as well. There could be a lot of overseas communication as well coming in over there. Um, so uh, definitely in the spotlight, um, whatever this new job is, and def definitely in a position of authority as well. You got the Knight of Wands, so a lot of travel has come in for you or will be coming in for you and you'll have to think very quickly in whatever it is you're doing uh, make decisions very quickly think on your feet um, but there's a lot of travel there's going to be a job overseas that comes in for you you'll certainly be working with a lot of people uh, that you get along pretty well with so making new friends as well with that three of cups um Maybe with this new job, initially feeling a little left out, feeling, uh, you know, as though you're not quite um, getting along with people around you. But, you know, um, with that Three of Cups, it, it's about celebrating. Uh, it's also some good news coming in over there. But it's also, uh, you know, maybe initially feeling a little excluded from uh, a circle of people. Uh, but then, you know, they will because it's a cups card, it, it looks like, you know, they will embrace you um, and it will be, uh, you will be able to settle into it. So maybe, uh, you know, this new job initially having a little bit of teething problems uh, as you settle in, but, you know, things will sort themselves out. You are getting into that position of authority. You are, you will be sort of, um, you know, maybe a little bit on trial uh, in a sense where people are waiting for you to show, uh, you know, um, how well you perform initially. But then settling into the job pretty nicely. Uh, there might be people around you. You're worried, really. This is on your mind, where you don't get along with people uh, or where people give you some grief. Um, with that Three of Swords, um, you know, you could be worrying about also, you know, whatever legal issues you're dealing with at the moment with that Three of Swords card. Um, there might be a little bit of problems with communication as well. Maybe that's what you're worried about as well, because this is playing on your mind um, that, you know, you may not enjoy this new job that you're getting, or you may not get along with the people uh, that you're working with, uh, or that there may be some conflict with the people that you're working with as well. Um, you know, so there is that element about worry. There's that worry that is going through your mind. So what's coming up for you? You've got the Eight of Swords. At the moment, you're still feeling very trapped in wherever you are at, feeling frustrated. This is a card of about feeling frustrated and feeling a lot of anxiety as well and lashing out at people around you. So, you know, you might be feeling a bit stressed out. Uh, you might be taking it out on the people that are, uh, uh, you know, your friends or people around you, friends and family. Um, there's also this element that there's something that has not quite been um, is information that has not quite, quite come to light. You can see she's got that blindfold on. And maybe this is the thing that has not allowed you to move forward. Uh, you're still feeling as though whatever is missing or whatever you don't know is uh, not allowing you to uh, move forward with ease. Um, so, you know, this is about just hanging in there, um, you know, and just take your time, review everything, review all your legal contracts, review all the paperwork very, very carefully, uh, and uh, maybe do some research as well for this information to come to light. Um, you know, you do have to do a lot of thinking um, and uh, think your way out of the situation, whatever it is that you're dealing with at the moment. So you could be in some kind of legal situation that's binding you a little bit over here. Maybe you want to break co contract and move on, and maybe this is the thing that is, um, you know, um, not coming through as quickly as you would like. Um, but a decision will be made. You know, you will be able to cut your ties with that past and move on. So you've been asked to move on to something new, or you want to, but something is preventing you from moving forward. Uh, but that soon will come to light. The information will come to light. It looks like, uh, you know, you're going through the two of cups. Uh, so this could be about, um, you know, uh, going to partnership with somebody. This could be a, a, a new uh, 
um, love partner coming in. So this could be a new relationship or even going out and meeting somebody new as well. Uh, on the other hand, this could be on the work fund, working the person that you're going to be working with. Um, you know, you'll get along pretty well and you're basically on the same page as far as this person goes. So whatever this new position is, it could be a new partnership that comes in, a new business contract that comes in. It's a pretty good one as well. Um, it seems like there's that offer coming in over there with that four of cups. Make sure you're doing your research. Be very, very vigilant, but make sure you're researching things quite carefully. This new thing that you're going to be doing is something you didn't consider before. It's something, because you've got the cups in the background over there, that's what you had in your mind all along, but it seems like something brand new is going to come and offer, and it could be involving something on the international front because of that cup, because of that cup in that world, in that globe over there. So it could be about even setting up home somewhere else, and moving on, starting afresh somewhere else. But make sure you're doing your research very carefully. Maybe this new offer that comes in is something unexpected as well. So in your hopes and fears, you're trying to manifest and maybe start somewhere something brand new somewhere else. You can see this man's going through a mirror to go and start a life afresh in, in a new country or, you know, start fresh is something that um, leaving the old behind and moving on to something new. And that's what your plan is. Uh, and you're trying to manifest this. Um, that's for sure. Maybe this, whatever this move is, you know, some kind of legality holding you back there with that eight of swords. And that's frustrating you. Now, going into the future, you've got the Queen of Cups, the Ten of Coins, and the Chariot. So, uh, this is about still feeling a bit depressed, feeling lonely, feeling unsupported, wanting to start something afresh. But, you know, things are just, you're waiting for news, really, to come in there. You can see her sitting and waiting there. So, you're making plans for the future, but things seem to be just a bit stuck right now. And, you know, this is going into the, this is the end of the old year, and we're going to the new year. So, you know, the energy is usually slow down at this part of the year. So try not to be too frustrated uh, and stop, uh, you know, worrying about things so much. Uh, she looks pretty worried there. Uh, and you are feeling a little unsupported as well. The Ten of Coins, it looks like you're ending this old job and moving on for something new. There might be a payoff that comes in as well with this uh, ending of this, but there seems to be an ending of an old job there. And a lot of people sad to see you go as well. You can see these people... Uh, you know, almost begging her to stay um, kind of thing going on over here. So this is a situation that, you know, you are moving on. Um, maybe things not moving as fast as you like, but you are ending it and you will make a move. The chariot card is about making a home move, traveling internationally, uh, sorting things out. So things might be a bit chaotic at the moment, but uh, very soon you need, uh, get a grip over things. Make sure you're doing your research um, and get yourself organized. Uh, and with the chariot card, it looks like it's overseas travel as well because the chariot is ruled by cancer and this is a home move or a relocation. So you are moving either close to water or moving overseas and making a fresh start. So like I said, this offer that comes in over there with that two of cups is a pretty good one over there. Even with that four of cups, it looks like it's something overseas as well and you're starting off afresh, maybe even buying a new home there, settling down again. Things not moving as quickly as you can, as you'd like, but things will come to light soon. Uh, and you will feel uh, less frustrated. So, you know, you will be unstuck from this position. At the moment, um, you know, you are feeling a little trapped, still waiting for news to come in with that page of swords, and it will come in pretty quickly as well. And this new job is going to be pretty good. It looks like it's an overseas job as well, or something um, certainly, uh, you know, involving a lot of travel. I'm just going to draw some cards from the uh, Wolf Pack for the Oracle Read. So you've got uh, the Fool card over here. So something going on uh, that is obvious that you are ignoring the impending danger. So you could be in a situation that has got emotional or physical danger. Wake up and do not be f a fool. Danger is real. So just watch out. There might be somebody that's causing a little bit of a hassle. Somebody might be bullying you as well, wherever you are at. Um, just watch your back, really, with that Fool card here. You've got... Uh, good advice so uh, it will be necessary for you to seek good advice at this time because your personal judgment cannot be trusted look to those you trust and respect such as a lawyer doctor broker or family member so somebody either bringing you you new sin and you can see you know with this 
um, eight of swords waiting for something to come in to allow you to get yourself unstuck from this position. So it might be a, a need for you to speak to somebody to get some advice on what to do next and how to proceed. Uh, and you've got obstacles, so something's still blocking your pathway over there. And even with that swords, you know, being feeling as though you're very, very stuck and not being able to move forward. You will encounter obstacles at this time. The solution is not to expect defeat, but to find answers. Rely on your inner strength to overcome this situation. You will become wiser from this experience. So although there are problems, uh, obstacles, or maybe even legal obstacles um, in your way, you will be able to overcome it. Uh, and, you know, you'll need to get some kind of advice. So you might need to get some kind of legal advice as well. So maybe um, moving is causing the problem. There might be some legal issues that you have to deal with in this move. Um, and you will need to get some kind of advice uh, in order for you to deal with that. So this is the uh, fairy tarot uh, for the oracle read. And the, the nine of winters, the first card. So unfounded fear, focusing on the worst case scenario and allowing worry to grow out of proportion to the problem. Like I said, this Queen of Cups looks, looks pretty worried about things. You know, she's making plans, but feeling a bit stuck, waiting for news to come in. So these fears are unfounded. You might not even be sleeping well at night. And, you know, this is about the worry and the anxiety that you're going through. You've got the Six of Autumn over here. So the good you do comes back to you, an unexpected inflow of money. So it looks like, you know, whatever this new job is, is going to certainly bring in a lot more finances for you. And there's a lot more stability. You've got this home over there. So um, it looks like something is going to come to light. Some information is going to come to light. But also this new job, you know, it, it will start for you. And the six is... Sixes are about harmony uh, after going through difficult situations. And you've got the six of summer over here. And this is about a new offer that comes in over there uh, for you. So you might be working with somebody you knew uh, or an old friend. You've got this two of cups as well. So this is a good offer that comes in for you over there. And it's going to bring in a lot of um, growth, a lot of abundance that comes in. It's an unexpected offer as well. So you may have worked with this person before, or you might feel like you knew them from the past as well. Uh, but certainly uh, a really good offer and a lot of growth coming out there. And like I said, this could be even uh, um, with that Six of Cups, uh, you know, starting afresh, uh, uh, buying a new home um, and moving on. So this is about relocating as well, you know, overseas or moving off uh, from where you are at the moment. So you're certainly making big decisions, big choices, and you're being called upon to do this with that judgment card coming in there for you, uh, talking about, you know, relocating, uh, starting afresh, um, you know, making uh, a new start somewhere else. But a lot of people, uh, you know, you're going to be catering to a lot of people's needs. And it's almost like you're being worshipped by a lot of people as well. So, um, you know, whatever it is you're going to be doing is going to be um, get a lot of recognition and uh, a lot of people are going to, um, you know, almost um, revere you as well. So there's something really good coming in. Whatever this new job is, it's a good start for you. It's going to be something that takes you out of all these burdens and responsibilities and allows you to progress and become quite successful as well. So even though there's a few problems and you're very anxious at the moment, try to calm down, see things clearly, make sure you're doing your research and get advice if you need to um, in order uh, for you to move on and it looks like you know you will be making that move uh, but you need to be very very organized if you're going to be doing that as well